Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Thursday, the 17th of October, and a weird little piece of news came out yesterday with regards to Harry and Meghan. It's been relatively quiet over the last week with regards to anything Harry and Meghan related. And I've said numerous times on this channel, over and over again, that weird little bits of news articles pop up as if they're strategically placed in the media to try and deflect from other royal family members gaining some attention. And I think this is very much the same thing. We've had this particular article that has popped up yesterday. Well, I say this particular article because it's all over the media. It says, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle buy a new property in Portugal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have bought a property in Portugal, it has been claimed. It comes almost two years after the couple were asked by the King to give up their Windsor home, Frogmore Cottage. The new home will give the Sussexes a base in Europe, enabling them to stay over whenever they make the transatlantic flight to visit friends or family. It also may allow them to acquire a so-called golden visa, which allows visa-free access to the European Union Schlangen area. The couple spent several days in Portugal last September when they were understood to have stayed with the Duke's cousin, Princess Eugenie, and her husband. Now, the Sussexes haven't actually confirmed nor denied this story, but let's have a look at this golden visa issue. Now, a Portugal golden visa means that it can provide a range of relatively affordable investment options for you to choose from obtaining your residence permit. You are only required to spend a minimum of seven days in Portugal per year. A Portugal visa program gives you a visa-free access to the Schengen states. You can become a Portuguese citizen within five to six years. So the Schengen area consists of 26 European countries. So Belgium, Czech Republic, Denmark, Germany, Estonia, Greece, Spain, France, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Hungary, Malta, Netherlands, Austria, Poland, Portugal, Slovenia, Slovakia, Finland and Sweden along with Iceland. Now, interestingly enough, American nationals will need to apply for travel authorization through the European Travel Information and Authorization System before traveling to Europe, which is starting in mid-2025. Now, this means jumping through legal loopholes to obtain a visa. Now, I know Harry is not a US citizen, but Meghan is. So starting next year, if Meghan wanted to go into Europe, she would have to apply for a visa. Owning a property in Portugal and getting a golden visa means that she is free to roam without having a visa. It also means that the golden visa program is also known as the residence permit for investment activity. It's a residence by investment scheme designed for non-EU citizens. It makes Portugal an extremely attractive destination for international investors to invest in and obtain the right to live, work and study in the country. And the Portugal Visa Programme provides the opportunity to become a permanent resident or citizen in Portugal in only five years. There's been a lot of speculation that this Portugal Golden Visa doesn't exist anymore. It does, but it's slightly more trickier. It says the Portugal Golden Visa program went through serious changes in October 2023. The changes have no retrospective effect on existing applications. However, the program ceased to accept real estate purchases and real estate related funds as qualifying investment options. Certain Portuguese funds continue to be eligible investments. So while just buying a property will not automatically gain you access to the Golden Visa program, there are certain remaining investment opportunities that will allow you on this golden route without investing in property, okay? So if you invest half a million euros into a qualifying venture capital fund, creating at least 10 jobs, capital transfer of more than half a million in research activities, capital transfer of a quarter of a million euros or more supporting artistic production, recovery or maintenance of a national cultural heritage and capital transfers of half a million euros or more for forming a commercial company based in the national territory with the creation of five 
permanent jobs. So essentially the golden visa for Portugal does exist, it just means that you can't just buy a property out there and gain access to this golden visa programme. What you need to do is actually put something back into Portugal. And by buying a property, that means they're going to need staff, which means effectively they're going to give people jobs. So effectively they could, or Megan could, benefit from this golden visa application program, which means that she would be a citizen of the EU. So a lot of people are saying, no, 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 the golden visa program is no longer available. It is, but there are ways around it. You just can't just hand over a massive amount of money for a property and go, oh, I'll have my visa now, please. There are certain other loopholes to jump through. It's not quite as easy as it was a couple of years ago. Factor into the mix that we have a US election in one month's time, that's where it starts to get interesting. Because it's been well documented that Donald Trump has been very vocal against this whole visa for Harry in America. And he says that Prince Harry could be deported from the US over drug use if he wins the next election. That's a big if though. I mean, if he wins, I'm not into politics. I I follow what's going on, but it seems on a knife edge at the moment. And also, if he does get in, would he actually do that? And we know that Donald Trump has been very vocal on Harry and Meghan themselves, so it is a big if. But could this be them, them as in Harry and Meghan, laying down the foundation should that happen? I sat there in bed last night thinking, hmm, why Portugal? Now, Harry and Meghan, when to stay with Princess Eugenie and her husband, and they could have very well fallen in love with the country. But doesn't Meghan have ties to Malta? Wouldn't Malta be a much more attractive place for her to buy a home? Of course not, because she's forgotten that Maltese side of her. You know, we've gone to the whole Nigerian side of her now, her genetics. I firmly believe that this is a tactic for them to gain, or sorry, her to gain EU citizenship. We've also had, over the past year, a lot of Spanish nationals who have been very unhappy and very vocal about tourism and the knock-on effect that people buying properties that are not from that country are then forcing the house prices up because of holiday lets and like Airbnb and the such. Now, Portugal this year has also, or Portugal residents have been very vocal on this too. But that's by the by. That's just what's happening in Europe at the moment. House prices are going up because of the availability that Airbnb give to people that are buying properties and they can just let them out. So a lot of residents are saying, hey, I can't buy a property because house prices are going up because of this very reason. But if this was a ploy to gain the Portugal golden visa, why would that benefit Meghan Markle, I hear you ask? And Harry, of course, but by the by. Could very well have to do with security. They could say, well, we're a EU national and therefore you need to protect us. Is this some kind of ruse to get security either paid for or provided for while jaunting around the EU, Schengen states? But I don't believe any of this is actually true. I don't believe for one minute that Harry and Meghan have brought a place in Portugal. And if they have, well, I'll eat my hat. And there's a reason for that. It's because Harry and Meghan love being in the media. They play the media game. And it's quite ironic that Harry oh, was very famous when he said, it's a dirty game. And they play it beautifully. Now, isn't it funny that Prince William only yesterday, was all in the media about how he is desperately trying to help people as part of his drive to end homelessness. Now, yesterday he took part in a two-part ITV, which is a UK channel documentary, charting the first year of his drive to end homelessness. Now, that yesterday broke, it was in the morning that that went all over the media, and then up pops in the evening this article that Harry and Meghan have brought a home in Portugal. It's almost as if they can't stand to let anybody else have the headlines. Nowhere has it been confirmed that they have bought a house in Portugal. The Sussex spokesperson, whoever is actually speaking on behalf of Harry and Meghan, haven't confirmed or denied this. And I truly believe that this is just one-upmanship. They're in the media, let's release something to try and knock them off the top. It is quite ironic, and it is with a sad heart, that literally only half an hour, 
it was on the Daily Mail front page, it was a top story, and then the very, very sad news that Liam Payne from One Direction has sadly passed away. This knocked that headline story right down to about the 20th news article, and rightfully so, in my honest opinion. Just as a side note, or a sidebar, TMZ, or TMZ, shame on you for publishing those horrific pictures of Liam Payne. You are the dirtiest of the dirtiest. So, my opinion is that it was timed, or suddenly put out, six hours later, because Prince William had his engagement for his homeless charity. And it was all over the media, and it was all like, oh, we'll knock him off, we'll knock him off. And they did, unfortunately, but only for about half an hour, when more news just completely trumped them and pushed them down. A lot of people are also saying, well, Harry just got his inheritance from the Queen Mother, so they've probably brought a place with that. I'm still not buying it. No, no, no. It was all for clicks. It also adds to the fact that the media are speculating, and it has been for quite some weeks, that they are separating professionally, which then obviously leads people to speculate, well, are they separating personally as well? So it kind of reinforces the fact that, oh, they must be okay because they've brought a property in Portugal. So there are several factors on why this has been placed in the news, and I believe that it was to gain attention from Prince William's homelessness charity work, because that was all over the news. It solidifies or tries to solidify that, oh no, they're not separating, they're as strong as ever because they've just bought a place in Portugal. And I, for one, and I'm just not buying it. I see it for what it is. And it is a headline rating war with the royal family. It's trying to play one-upmanship and it is getting pretty tiresome. So, what are your opinions on all of this? Do you think that it's plausible that they have brought a place in Portugal? I mean, Harry just has got that massive check from his inheritance of the Queen Mother. Do you think that she's gone, ah, gimme, 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 I want a place in Portugal? Why Portugal and not Malta, where she has ties, allegedly, to Malta and in her ancestry? Do you believe that it is a ploy to try and get EU residency as part of the golden visa? Handshake that Portugal offer. And if you believe that, why? Why do you think that could be the case? Could it have something to do with the election that's coming up in November and the fact that it's neck and neck at the moment? Well, as far as our media are actually reporting, UK media are reporting that it's neck and neck and on a knife edge. That might not be the case. Or do you, like me, think that this is all to do with the dirty games of one-upmanship and the media? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.